Dafyomi, Tractate Bhavabhastra, page 69b, top of the page, with the words Minahani Mili. The Gemara asks, Minahani Mili, from where are these matters, meaning that a grafted carob and sycamore trunk are not included in the sale of a field, derived? Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Rav, um, Rav Yehuda said that Rav said, as the verse states, so the field of Ephron, which is in Machpelah, which was before Mamre, the field and the cave that was within it, and all the trees that were in the field that were in, that were in all the boundaries around were established for Abraham as a possession, Genesis 23, 17 and 18. This teaches that, any, that anything requires a boundary around it, as it does not have natural demarcations, is included in the sale of the field. This excludes these trees meaning the grafted carob and sycamore trunk, which do not require a boundary around them, as they stand out individually on their own. Rav Masharshia says, from here there is a source. The acquisition of the actual boundaries is in a sale is from the Torah. Am Rav Yehuda, Haiman, de Bizamadar al-Chavre, Sarach Lemich, Tavadeh Kanilach, Dik Limitali, Mechutzin, Vititin, Rav Yehuda said, one who sells land to another must write for him the following in the bill of sale. Acquire for yourself the palm trees and the dates and the branches and the seedlings. And even if he did not write this for him, the buyer would still acquire all of the all of these entities as demonstrated by <clears throat> the Mishnah that is only a grafted carob and a sycamore trunk that are excluded from the sale of the field. Even so it is an, an enhancement of the bill of sale that he write all of the details of the transaction so that there would be no possible room for disagreement. Amar lei ara vedik lei chazinan i is lei dikla yahiv lei tre dik lei v'i les lei dezavin tre dik lei v'i mishtavdi parik lei tre dik lei dik lei If the seller said to the buyer I am selling you the land and palm trees. We consider the situation. If he has palm trees, he must give him two palm trees. <clears throat> As two is the minimum number of trees that would justify being called trees, in the plural. And if he has no palm trees, he must buy two palm trees for him somewhere else. And if he has palm trees, but they are mortgaged to another person, he must redeem two palm trees and give them to the buyer. Ah, Rabbi Dikli Chazinan, I is ba ba Dikli, Yahiv le vilav, Mikach taut hu, Mekach tosu, the Arad be Dikli Lesle Dikli the Chazia Dikli Kamale Amale le Bal me Dikli. Palanya Chazinan Idik le davahu Shio ere shiaire Vidik le bishahu Kol shiken hanach If the seller said to the buyer I'm selling you land with palm trees We consider the situation If there are palm trees on the land He must give him the land And if not This is a mistaken transaction Mekach tos I wonder what the Gematria of Mekach Tos is. Find out right now. 
That's the beauty of uh, Gematronator. Uh, let's see here, 633. Mechach is Gematria. Um, all the rivers go to the sea, but the sea is not full. It's Gematria Mechach <laughs> Palm trees. Uh, hold on here. It, where, where do you have a yeah, mistaken transaction? And the sale is void. If the seller says to the buyer, I am selling new land to palm trees, the buyer has no claim to receive the palm tree, receive palm trees. Therefore, if land has no palm trees, this is not a mistaken transaction, as the seller meant to say to him, that the land was fit for palm trees, and not that it had already contained them. Furthermore, if the seller said to the buyer that he is selling the land, except for such and such a palm tree we consider the situation if it is a good palm tree we assume that he retained only that one for himself and he did not include it in the sale but if, but if it is a bad palm tree we assume that all the more so that he retained it for himself the other ones that he retained for himself the other ones that are of higher quality if the seller said to the buyer that he is selling him the entire field except for the trees, we consider the situation. If he has different types of trees in the field, for example, olive and fig trees, he has sold the entire field except for the trees. If he has only palm trees in the field, we assume that he meant to sell the entire field except for the palm trees. Even though one does not ordinarily refer to palm trees by the more general term trees. Similarly, if he has only grapevines in the field, the buyer requires everything except for the grapevines. <speaking in Spanish> If the field has both trees and grapevines, he has sold everything except for the trees. Therefore, the buyer does not acquire the trees, which the seller excluded from the sale, but he does acquire the grapevines. Similarly, if in the field there are both trees and palm trees, he has sold everything except for the trees. If there are no tr other trees in the field, but only grapevines and palm trees. Everything, including the palm trees, is sold except for the grapevines, which we assume the seller reserved for himself. Amarav, kol shuanin lo bechevel havi shiur. Kol shuanin bo bechevel lo havi shiur. Rav says, if the seller specifies that he is selling a field but not the trees, any tree that is so tall that one must climb it by rope in order to harvest its fruit is retained and is not included in the sale. And any tree that one need not climb by rope is not retained and is sold along with the field.